heading up to New York for their opening day of gun season tomorrow. Taking off PA bear season. Hopefully we can get up here and get on a few bucks. We'll be up here till Wednesday the 25th, I believe. So we're gonna get up here, three hour drive, and hopefully get on some bucks tomorrow. Chili guy, chili, chili. I could eat some chili right now. Whew, wee. All right, today's November 23rd, 2020. About 10 in the morning right now. And my dad and I came across the road from where we have been hunting. It started getting a lot of pressure and we weren't seeing many deer, so we came across the road. I wanted to hike through this patch of pine trees where Chris and I had a good hunt last year. Saw a lot of does on similar weather conditions. It was a wet rainy day last year and there was a lot of deer in these pine trees. So I hiked through them. I passed up a button buck. Got a little GoPro video of them but you probably can't even see them in the video. Then I walked through one of the clear cuts to my dad and he didn't see any deer. So what we're going to do now is go to the secret weapon spot. It is this area that me and Chris hunted last year with a ton of does. We hunted a little bit this year in archery and Austin actually got a doe there. But there's just so many does in there. But so I'm thinking now there might be some bucks hanging around. So we're going to head there now. We're going to do a little drive to them and see what happens. About 11.45 right now. Pulling out the secret weapon in here where we do some archery hunting. And there's just a ton of deer in here. We just did plan A drive. No dice. Now I'm on plan B. I'm gonna push out this real thick bedding area. My dad is set up on this ridge system, so hopefully Buck will want to scoot by him. It's been recorded for 22 minutes. That took so long. I'm gonna talk to my other camera now, get a little better quality. I'm shaking, like I'm so freaking tore up right now. This is so, that was so fun. I couldn't get it, like I'm freaking shaking so bad. <laughs> Let me put this, oh man. I'm walking down this hill like really, like at a good clip, because I'm gonna do this drive for my dad. And actually, I saw this branch that looked like a shed, like a really big shed. I sound like 
pull my binoculars up. I'm like, man, that looks like a shed. So I'm like walking towards it. I'm like, man, it looks like a shed. So I'm like closer. I'm like, ah, it's just a branch. Oh, there's a deer. Sure enough, there's a deer like walking at me. And so I get ready and it's a decent eight point. Like this is way more than I asked for to come to New York and get. Like it is a nice eight point. I was back there and I'm watching him and it's thick, thick as dirt up through here. I couldn't sneak a bolt in anywhere and where I was and he bedded down perfectly with a big tree in the way and another tree laying down across. And I'm like, well, when this wind blows, I'm just gonna stalk him. I'm just gonna close the distance a little bit. I don't even remember where I was, but I was back there. I was like, if I could get to this little tree right here, I'll be good. So I get to this little tree, nope. Didn't feel like swiggy, squeezing a shot through there. And I was like, this tree, like it is like meant, like this was put here for me to shoot that buck. Like it is the perfect height for me on that V. I put my gun right in it. And that buck is right there at like 30 yards. I just stalked him. Holy crap. Let's see what dad says. He's coming up. I was doing a drive to him. Let's go check this buck out. Some guy had a scent stick and it was still in the tree and I got mad about that because it it's litter. And I got down on this bench and I was, thought I saw a shed down here. He's down here. Oh, oh. He's a nice He's one. a big one. Nice buck. More than I, more than I asked for in New York, but uh, this is his bed where he lay down. And I shot him out of his bed, and I was over there, probably thirty yard shot. So when I first saw him and he bedded down, that ash tree was perfectly covering his head, and then I had this to block movement as well, and that's how I would find him where this fallen tree met the ash tree I just kept I kept remembering that so when I moved I still knew where to look for for his bed and uh, yeah I snuck up 30 yards and he was facing this way and I hit him on the other side through the neck and that might be exit or down through here might be exit but like it was like this big of a hole but I was 30 yards and felt comfortable to get through some brush and that is an, my biggest New York buck. It's also my first one. What is he, an eight point? He's an eight point. Oh yeah. I'm really, really happy about that. That's a pretty neat buck. He's beautiful. Yeah, good job, congratulations. So this is a spot Chris and I hunted last year. This is the first ever piece of public ground that Chris and I ever stomped in New York. Chris saw his buck out on the other side of this hill and uh, we realize there's a huge doe population in here. So this area is a lot more strictly managed with the doe tags. Um, so we run into a ton of does here. Austin actually shot his doe uh, 300 yards over there. There's a really thick autumn olive patch these deer like to bed in. So that's where we did our first drive. Tons of deer sign there when I was pushing through there but dad didn't see any deer. So I was like, all right, we're doing plan B. So I put dad up on this ridge system and I want to make a big loop around here and get on this other hill. And I got up to the top and I look at my pins from last year and I marked a ton of rubs through this elevation before it really gets thick into pines. I was like, well, that'd be a great place to just work that hillside out and push it to them. Sure enough, I thought I saw a shed antler and so I kind of migrate over to it and wasn't a shed and I'm like, well, there's a deer walking in and I noticed he had a lighter coat than you know typically what I see I just noticed his coat was a little lighter I'm like that might be a buck and sure enough I saw he was a decent eight point and the 
stock took forever. I, I was watching them coming and... 56 minutes. What? That you waited to, for him to get in on them. Yeah, it was 56 I, minutes. Well, yeah. it was about 10 minutes before that. Because I, I was had him in the scope and I saw him bed. And that's why I texted you. Because you're going to get wondering where I'm at. So I texted you. Hey, I've got a buck here bedded. But there was very very few shots at all and I didn't feel comfortable shooting through this stuff and it, sure enough he bedded down right here closed the distance in took me 22 minutes to cover like 15 yards but snuck a bullet in and put him down right here I'm we've been hunting hard these last few days this is the third day of the New York gun season and we've seen a handful of deer between the two of us and decided to come over here to the secret weapon spot you know, there's a lot of does here, and since it's the tail end of the rut now, I figured there'd be some bucks hanging around, and here we go. Pretty excited. About all I have to say. So to give you a view around of where this buck decided to bed, you have a mountain point here that comes down, rolls around that way, and then it drops down over here. A lot of oaks, you have some autumn olive, thick pines down here, a lot of browse through here. He tucked up behind this fallen log. You got some back cover here, big oak, and a bunch of deadfalls here for back cover. The wind was coming this way, so the wind to his back. And he was just watching. He was watching out through here. Watching out through here. You can see rubs trickling out all through here. He's got good escape routes down through that way and then down here it gets really thick and then back here that point wraps around he has good escape routes and then anything coming behind him he could have winded but luckily i was set up right through here and got a shot i think my shot was like through this somewhere 